year. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Alpha King Carter here. We are at the Staples Center, and I'm going up against the Los Angeles Lakers with Kobe Bryant. Oh man, it's gonna be hell. I'm playing on Hall of Fame, so for any of those questions inside the comment section, um, I'll leave you, I guess, the difficulty modifier at the end of the game. I usually don't put it in the videos because I didn't think that it mattered. But uh, yeah, I'll leave that for you guys, you know, just to show you guys I'm playing on Hall of Fame. But um, dipping it down in dirt, you know, cutting to the basket, making sure I can try to get the rebound. He passes it off, and I get the foul automatically. But we're going to move into the next clip because I only made one of those foul line shots, so it doesn't matter. But check out KB24 going to work. Oh, my God, putting Monte Ellis on skates right there. That's how the game goes. But we're out on a break. And, of course, people are made to make mistakes. So I throw the pass, get a tip, easy turnover, four against one. It's nothing that he can do, and Kobe takes a leaner slash fadeaway in that situation. But of course, he knocks us down because it's KB. But I thought that he would have went in for a layup or something. But I come back with a nice behind the back pass, and mm, I get the roll to go on a dunk. <laughs> oh man, it's so funny. But checking out Chandler at the foul line, missing the shots, man. I can tell that when my teammates are playing on Hall of Fame, it's like. You know, they lose all sense of basketball, you know, and I'm chasing Steve Nash around right now. Nobody's coming to help out. Nobody's switching. But check out Wesley Johnson draining it from three. My God. But check out the score right now. It is 12 to 26. You guys already know what time it is, man. I'm on a one-man show, and I feel like I got to do everything in my power to come back. So I'm taking nice little mid-range jump shots, trying to get my shot to fall, trying to get it on a roll, trying to do something because my team isn't playing the way that I want them to play. Now, if I was playing on a different difficulty, I'll probably have maybe about 13 to 14 assists right now. Yeah, I mean in the second quarter. Um, All-Star, I'll probably have about 10 Superstar I probably have about uh, maybe five or six, but I only have two. But I am shooting very well, as you can see from that excellent shot. Now, we're still trying to play defense. Trying to guard Kobe and Lynn is hard, but we get the cookies right there. I'm out on a break. I see Dirk, but I'm like, nah, can't trust in it. So I take the mid-range jump shot, and I miss a slightly early B-quality shot. Now, of course, they get the cookies again, and I'm like, all right, well, I'll show up and show out right here, but check it out. Get fouled. No call. Monte Ellis got to pick everything up, pick up all the pieces from that Jenga that fell, and he gets the shot to fall. Now, I told y'all, KB is the man, right? But he ain't that man. He ain't the one to be passing out here. I don't know what KB was thinking right there. But I grabbed the ball from a pass, put up the shot, and I nailed a three. You know it's cash when you sit there, you shoot. And then you don't run back on defense or go for the rebound. You just stand there like, oh, you already know time, time on, baby. It's cash. Check me out. Now, the last play of the half, KB comes down, puts one move on Monte, and he's already out of the play. But check it out, man. You can't beat that. You can't beat that. That's KB. I don't know what I'm going to do against this guy in the second half. And I try to get the little roll to go. We only got .6. That's not enough for me to even do anything right there. So I put up the half-court shot, miss it, and we're going into the half down eight. That's not that bad, but I wish we were only either down one or leading because it's going to get hard. But let's get into this interview with Doris Burke. You know, she always has something to ask me, man. She loves me. Some ground for you to make up, no doubt, here in the first half. What are the areas you need to improve on to get back even with them? I think we just need to step our energy level up a little bit. We seem to be moving around like we were playing underwater in the first half. Second half, we need to come out with more urgency. Good luck in the second half. Kevin, a visibly frustrated young man. All right, just like Doris Burke said, I am definitely frustrated because things like this are going to be happening all game long. I just can't get anything to happen for my teammates. I try so hard by passing them the ball, setting them up, but luckily I'm still hitting my shots. Things are still perfect releases. Even some are slightly early and late, but I'm still nailing shots. But I'm trying, I'm trying, you guys. Like right there, I tried to dump it down to Tyson Chandler. I could have swore he was open. They got the cookies. I got the turnover. Now I got three turnovers. That's the same amount of assists I got. But that's the things that happen. Now check out Randall, man. And I'm sorry that that man broke his leg, man. I'm, I, I really feel for the ball, man. 
NBA debut, broke his leg. It was insane. But I'm mad that he's scoring right now in this game. That's how it's going to go. But I'm trying to come back, trying to play some little bit of off-ball defense. Almost got the cookies, but it didn't go. So Steve Nash is going to pull up and pass the Boozer, which, in fact, was crazy. I don't I don't never know Boozer for hitting shots like that, but it's all good. You know, Boozer ain't the best scorer, but I put Dirk in the post, and Dirk misses as well. Like I told you guys in the beginning, man, I can't set anybody up. I get hit with a spin move by Jeremy Lin, and I'm trying to get back on defense. I do a pretty good job, but... Knowing that he still has the ball in his hands, something bad is going to happen. And check it out as he pulls up from the paint. Just, I mean, he dotted the I's, crossed the T's from the dotted line. Like, you can't stop that. Once somebody that you're guarding gets past you just a little bit, you might as well call it quits. You might as well not even play defense. You might as well pick up somebody else on the court and see if one of your teammates can help. Now, I call a nice little pick and roll situation with Dirk. Give him the shot. He doesn't make it, but Chandler does pick up the play, gets the two points. But like I said, every time I pass it to one of my teammates for a shot, they're not hitting it. It's nothing that I can possibly do besides rage a little bit. But uh, Boozer get hits with the personal foul. He should have set his feet. That's all I'm saying. You know, he should have set his feet. But we're only down six. Now, this is a good situation because I could call screens, get around defense, and yam on people's head. No, I still do not have posterizer badge, but I have a set of dunks like uh, quick drops and stuff like that that looks amazing. Now, this is where the Hall of Fame cheese comes into play. We are only down two with two and a half minutes left, right? Now, people start scoring that you don't even notice throughout the entire game. Who would have knew that Jordan Hill would have hit that jumper in somebody's face? Granted. But, you know, I, I kind of played it off. Decided I'm going to take a pick and roll, but I kind of did it the wrong way. You know, I kind of crossed over a little bit too early. So I call another pick and roll. Tyson Chandler is wide open. Bangs the layup against the goddamn backboard in the back of the room. Don't know what I'm going to do. And guess what? These guys are getting rebounds, getting points, and they are setting themselves up for a winning roll. Now, it is currently 58 to 63. I nailed the free throw. They called the timeout. And now I'm sitting here like, how am I going to come back? But well, four points with a minute and 14 to go. So, of course, I put my defensive glasses on. Try to scout the field. You know, see, see where the ball is going to go. And I noticed that Kobe has it. But I wasn't able to get the cookies from Jeremy Lin's pass. So, check out Boozer, man. Doing what he doesn't do. Scoring buckets. You know, so now we're down four once again with 30 seconds left. If they score here, you might as well count this game over with. So they go inside. Don't get the shot to fall. I want to pass it to my man Monte, but I'm like, nah, I got to do this myself. I pass it to Parsons for three, and he misses it. That play right there called the game. If Parsons would have made that shot, I think that we would have had a chance. But since he missed it, this game is completely over. We're going to be, you know, fouling for the rest of the game. Nothing that we can do. Check out Jeremy Lin at the line. It's 61 to 67, and now it's 61 to 68. So this game is over, man. There's nothing that I can do there. I try my best against this team. You know, it's 5.4 left, down seven, and the coach just subs me out. He says, hey, man, you, you tried. You had a good game. You know, you did what you could. But... Your team couldn't hold up. So, you know, I think I played pretty good defense. You know, I think I played pretty good defense. But I will take a little bit of fault of that because what happens is when I'm playing a certain way and I notice that, you know, the person that I'm guarding gets past me a lot, I tend to try to go back down and score the point right back. And that kind of messes me up sometimes. Sometimes I, I mess up the flow of the team. And I do need to start calling plays, though. I do. I will admit that. But uh, I want to show you guys a few things, not the player of the game. We're not going to do that right now. Um, I want to show you guys a, a few things, you know, outside of uh, this game. I do want to let you guys know that um, I did make it to the playoffs. Um, I have probably about one or two more games in a regular season, and then I'll be going to the playoffs. But it's going to be a short stint. Um, but I do have a big surprise in the off season. But um, right here, I... Uh, upgraded a new unlock joint um i got 80 out of 100 which means uh only have 20 more to go but where i am now 
in the uh, NBA. I'm in my second season somewhere, so I know that I have plenty more of these unlocks. But uh, I'll talk to you guys more about that later on. Um, I did get a couple different accomplishments, um, as well as like I think I got um, Player of the Week. I think I got Player of the Month once, and it was a few other things. I I'll show you guys stuff like that at the end of the season. But um, I remember when uh, I made the video when I talked to my coach and he was like, hey, you know, I need to borrow some VC to uh, put our rec center back up. And so uh, I did get the cut of the ribbon for that. So I'm going to show you guys that once this loads up, um, as well as I think I have something else to show you guys. Oh, some social media nonsense. Oh, I can't wait for you guys to see this. This was insane, man. Social media on NBA 2K15 is so funny because now like you could tweet to certain players and stuff it's, it's totally insane but as you check out I got 98% 98 team chemistry 84% coach satisfaction but uh checking out the cutting of the ribbon you know it was pretty funny um Carlos Boozer and Jeremy Lin now follow me um they said that they saw Kobe doing their thing you know you know picking shots at your boy you know it is what it is but it seems like every time we lose, um, the same fans that praise me are the same ones that be like, bruh, your ass. So, you know, it's pretty funny. But on the social media, you know, whenever I check something red, that means that either somebody has followed me or somebody has tweeted me from like the, the NBA players. And I noticed that Kevin Durant tweeted me back because I tweeted him uh, in early April telling me that, you know, maybe me and him will play, play together, you know, once I come to the big leagues. But... You know, I just wanted to say what's up to a couple people, you know, talk some bull crap, say what's up, like, yo, what's going on, what you trying to do, blah, blah, blah. But, you know, talk to my agent. I just do stuff like that just to, you know, see what type of responses I get back. Um, and I, I would add, I would at least let you guys know that you should do that, too, because you never know. Maybe somebody might come over in a tree, you know, that you might have wanted. Hey, pretty easy. But uh, this is IKC signing out. I'm going to holler at you guys in the next video. Peace. Yeah.